So basically, we go on Omegle, and the first person we get is like, you know, normal guy, normal kid, I don't know, he's like 17, 16, 18, I don't know. And, uh, you know, he's just making a conversation with me, and then like all of a sudden, he's just like, you know, I'm your biggest fan, and, you know, he started showing me all these shirts that he has of TakeOver, and I never made a TakeOver shirt, like never had any sales, he like made it himself. And it's like, instead of the, the globe, he had like a wiffle ball, because it was for his team, he has like a wiffle ball team. And uh, he has it in like 10 different colors, and he was like, yeah, man, like, you know, I look up to you, and I'm, I'm like your biggest fan. And, and I was just like mind blown, because, you know, I didn't know how much I affect people and stuff. And he was like, yeah, you know, like two years ago, you wore a hat, a uh, snapback to uh, like Orlando, and it was a Rebels yeah, hat. The red one. And he was like, yeah, I had, this, I had the same one. I bought it, and uh, right there is when I was just like almost lost it. The most important trait you have to have is a very strong mindset. You can't think someone's better than you. There's a lot of players and teams who have a mind block for some of these top teams. You know, Optic, for example, everyone has mind blocks for them. Uh, you can't. But our S and D was shaky, real shaky, yeah. and that and that's what fucked us up in the end. <laughs> they went to the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, kill him, he killed. <laughs> As he finishes out that round, he's pounding his chest right now, and he's gonna get the defuse five to five on a free streak here from Fizz. Matt, we're going to overtime. That was a monster round from Fizzer right there. I mean, he's able to kill the one player on the bomb, jump in, kill another player in that back right area. Yeah, what, what happened with uh, Saints? Uh, Saints couldn't show up. Um, has, it's not want to get into detail, so couldn't show up. Just coming up for two months. They're all playing so fast. They have to do the bait and switch. He jumps across. His teammate should be able to come in. He is able to get that first kill. That's going to be methods, and that's going to give them the first one. Yeah, great job there. And like you said, this is totally the opposite of what we saw the first three pounds out of the defensive side for most wanted. They really slowed it down here, but they are going to lose basically first. Nice shots there from Fizzer. We'll clean up one more. 3 2 advantage right now to SD as they're trying to climb back. Oh, and this one, oh God. dear Jesus, the wall bang out of Fizzer. Oh, no, 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 oh, what the hell? Two wall bangs. What is that, X ray vision? I don't hacks. He's Superman. Hacks. Dude, that was filthy. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh, that by was the disgusting. way, he saw him just that split second there, and able to pick him through the wall. Missing a lot of slang power. Who is going to have to step up and take over that role now? It's going to have to be. Uh, it's going to have to be me. It has you. To be. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it, but I'm going to try my best. I've seen you do some dirty stuff, especially at PAX, but then again, there's no SMU snipers to pull out in. How you make it in your team still stay the same Stay down from the jump and they never change Man, this a moment I could never train I told my moms not to stress no more Go hit the Bentley store And no credit card debts no more I bought the crib and it's an escrow now You never have to worry about how you gon' pay That top three, where does Denial rank among these squads? Uh, Denial's number one. I have to say that. You know, I have to be confident in my team. Have to be. Love it. 
out by both teams. It's gonna be big here to see if Endy can make this one happen. No, he gets taken, taken out. Events one is getting John running this flag. He's getting closer, closer to his base, but he's nervous that there's an opposing player who's sitting there waiting for him, making the smart yeah. here to wait for teammates to get him back up. Now gonna push him towards the star room. Taken out, but now his teammate picks it up. Will Fizzer be able to cap this one? He's sitting at 97. He gets it in. Strictly business now up 3-2, and for those of you watching at home, Endy is down 2-0 oh, already in this wow. series. Ridiculous play out of Fizzer as he's on a 5 streak and almost triple off. That was a sick play right there. Adam. Oh my god. Almost able to save that, and he is on fire right now, Jack. At 21 and 7. Someone spray this man with a fire extinguisher. I don't know if that would help him at all, but he's now positive 15 against Envy. Oh, oh my dear. I, he is on. Wow. He is. He is on another level. Right yeah. Now. I mean, if I'm running another cap, too. Yeah, he's going to get another flag. It's not. The first camp back there. It's got to be both right. Oh. Put the good in 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 Oh, he came out of B and he was on the Oh my god! I just did a bro! I just did a bro! Oh my god! I'm averaging bro! I don't even know where to begin with this video. Over the last couple of days, on the morning of October 2nd, the professional gaming community and the Call of Duty community more specifically lost one of its own. Um, I was just like recording a video at the game and I posted a picture on my Instagram account talking about being at the Jets game and I looked at some of my comments and people were saying something crazy and then I saw it all over Twitter and like it's true. Like I can't believe that this is actually true. Professional player by the name of Fizzer that um, one of the pro Call of Duty players I've been associating with for a really long time passed away in a car accident a couple hours ago, around like 12 o'clock today, Eastern time. And, um... It's just one of those things that, you know, like, that's just, that's just life, man. I just remember all year, like, all throughout Black Ops 3, even when I wasn't on a team, I would play Money 8 every single night for a good portion of the year, and it was always with Fizzer and John. And nobody wanted to play with me because everyone thought that I quit because of YouTube and I, I don't want to play anymore. But when I made a push to try to play again, I would play Money Eights every night and I would win with Fizzer every single night. And he would be the only person to pick me. Like if, if it was down to me and another guy, Fizzer would be in the Skype call saying, oh, pick Doug, pick him up, pick him up. And then we'd play together and we'd win and it was so much fun. And like, damn, it just, I don't know, man. It's, it's crazy to me. And there's no other way to put your finger on it. There's no other way to think about it. There's no other way to have any understanding why the things that happen, happen. To see someone die, especially from an accident, is just tragic. And I don't know what else to do other than make a video and just reflect on him a little. Um, but it was somebody who I truly valued as a competitor and even more as a friend. I just wanted to talk about this because it's a huge deal to me, you know, this is somebody that I grew up with, this is a huge part of my life growing up, Call of Duty competitive, the people that were involved in it, you know, the people who helped make it grow, Fizzik was a huge piece of that, he was a really big search and destroy player, he was a really big player in the scene. Uh, he even won a tournament. Like, he was a good guy. It just really sucks to see this. And I don't know if anyone else is even talking about this or making videos about it, but I literally just got home. My head is beating. I feel horrible. Not only because of his death, but I physically feel horrible. But I just really wanted to just, I don't know, do something and reflect on the guy. Like, it's still crazy to me to think about it, man. I don't know. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry or anything, but... 
damn. That just sucks. It really sucks. He was one of the original streamers on Twitch back in the day. I used to try to steal strats on Modern Warfare 3. He just approached the game in such a completely different way. And he just had such a, a, a fierceness and, and so much tenacity in the way that he competed. Uh, for me, competing was always really important, but also making YouTube videos and also trying to be an entertainer. And Phil just embodied all of those things while staying true to what it means to be a competitor. All he cared about was winning. And it showed so much with the way that he approached tournaments. And it's just a shame that we're never going to be able to see him up on main stage uh, putting his heart and soul into the game.